as if acting wasn't hard enough and remembering your lines while listening to who you're acting with and doing all that, you have, I'm sure, this voice in your head with all this stuff. And, and I just wondered if you've had to go through a major transformation in your own head to be able to even do this job and be able to act when you're nude and... Being an actress and what you look like, you know, that's impossible to separate the two. Uh, I think at any age, but you know, I've 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 obviously thought a, a ton about this because my show calls for a lot of nudity, and so sometimes I feel, okay, you know, I'm this is actually the best case scenario. I'm lit beautifully. Nobody wants me to look bad. Nobody's you know actually critiquing my body. We're all moving towards the same finish line, which is let's make the show look as good as possible. This character's supposed to look good naked, make her look naked. So I feel sometimes pretty well protected. Uh, sometimes those scenes can be so weird that they're fun. But there was a, I actually just watched the first three episodes of the second season of the show. There's a scene where I have to stand there completely naked and masturbate, and I just remember that it took me back to the trailer, like standing there completely naked, right? and having to do this masturbation scene, like start to finish, staring Michael Sheen in the eye the whole time. And that was shitty. And I could not have been more well protected. Michael Apted, uh, who's an amazing director, who directs a ton of our show, was there. Uh, the crew was as pared down as possible. These are my friends now. And I just remember sitting in my trailer, feeling for the first time since being on the show, that I don't know if I can walk out there. Like what is it gonna take to be able to walk out there to do this. And I also grapple with the fact that Virginia Johnson never, as far as we can tell, like a huge part of her personality was that she was completely comfortable with sex and completely comfortable with her body. There's no room for any of that other stuff. But I started thinking recently that I think a lot of people when they when they ask about that, it's the what's implied in the question is how do you get to a place where you feel comfortable enough to go out there and do such a private, uncomfortable thing in front of people. And the truth is that's not what I'm going for ever. I'm not trying to get to a place in my head where I'm completely comfortable with this notion. I'm just trying to be okay with being uncomfortable. <laughs> 